these are the numbers on this deal. This deal was, uh, it's in East Texas. If you guys know where Rusk, uh, Rusk is, um, it is the, uh, I think, uh, the home of the largest mental facility in the state of Texas. Not sure if any of our residents from there or not, um, but uh, that's, that's what Rusk is known for. Uh, we bought this one uh, Halloween of 2019. Uh, we bought it for $100,000. The seller was asking $150,000, so if you want to hear the story on that, it was a big eye-opener for me too. So we bought it at $100,000. Basically, it was a 10 cap. It was only about 50% occupied when we bought it, but it still was about a 10 cap because it was at um, uh, $100,000, and there were no expenses. So when I was talking to Butch, I said, Butch, can you tell me a, a little bit about your expenses here? And he said, what you talking about? I ain't got none. And I said, well, you know, there's a, like a couple of lights around here. You don't have electricity. I don't have electricity bill. Okay. What about the water? It's city water billed to the tenants. Okay. That's a real good thing, by the way, right? I'm like, what about electricity? A lot of these things are all bills paid. And he said, I don't pay for that. It's all individually metered. These are, and I'm telling you this because these are some of the things you want to check for that are they're ideal. I said, well, I see a trash dumpster. Are you not paying anything for trash? He said, I've owned this park for 15 years. I've never paid trash one time in my life. Okay. He's like, I pay $1,000 a year for taxes once a year. That's my only expenses at this park. All right. I, I like what I'm hearing. Okay. So it was kind of, it kind of checked those boxes, even though it was small. I'm very fortunate. And we're just about to the point now where we're uh, about to be at a 14 filled lots. So we're going to start adding on a few lots here very, very soon. And I financed it with private capital, so that was cool. So that's the rough snapshot overview. Um, so one thing I do, if you're looking at other markets, I like bestplaces.net. Um, bestplaces.net is a very, very valuable um, resource when you're looking at uh, uh, different areas to invest in. We like this one. Not did not meet what we like to see. Okay, we're okay with small towns. Uh, I'm okay with small towns, as long as we're in town and there's employment. We like to see government employment, right? We like to see the hospital type of stuff. We like to see school system, educational systems, places where there was going to be uh, jobs, even if the, the economy goes down. And we'd like to see about a fifty thousand uh, metro the metropolitan area, or metro area. Um, this one's in the Jacksonville metro, and it was kind of right there. But what I really liked about this, even though it was a small town, and this is an area of Rusk, as you can see there, um, pretty sm very small town, but we're almost right smack dab in the center of um, town. So that's our park. This uh, building right here you know, was the grocery store and the hardware store. You know, there was donut store, some restaurants. So it was, they could walk anywhere that they wanted to go. You know, I think it was a Piggly Wiggly or whatever it was. I'm totally stereotyping now. But, um, you know, when you look at the, the demographics of your, your mobile home parks, um, there's actually some billionaires living in mobile home parks. Did you guys know that? Anybody know that? You heard that before? The guy from, what was his name? Tony Shu from Zappos lived in a mobile home park. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, but when you, when you look at the demographics of mobile home parks, a lot of the residents, they are going to, a majority of them work in the fast food industry, right? The customer service industry, like working retail, grocery stores, things like that. And I'm like, I only have 15, 20 lots here when we max out, and they, there's employment right there for all of them. So I really, I, I like that a lot. So that was some from before pictures. I don't have great pictures on this, so I apologize. But just some, you know, some rundown, look at mobile homes. So, so all that we did, um, which was not a ton, but there was, just, there was little things. When you pulled into the park before, um, you know, this little, where this trash can is, is, this is just like a little, the courtyard, so to speak. And you turn into it, and the first thing you're looking at is a dumpster. <laughs> it's like, why do you put that there? Well, I don't have... <laughs> So it was just like little things, you know, so we put in commercial mailboxes. That first home was uh, a resident owned home and um, it was just in bad shape. So we remodeled another one. 
she moved into that one, um, kind of gave that one to her, did I think we did a small owner finance note, remodeled this one, and, and we're doing the same thing like right now as we speak, another residence moving into another home, we remodel it, and they're like, man, that one's so great, like why don't you move into it so we can remodel yours, and we're just doing it over and over because we know statistically those people aren't leaving. Okay, so now what we're really building is like, for the most part, customers for life. We did a little bit of road work. Um, you know, there were really, really bad potholes. We pressure washed and painted the sign, um, took care of the eyesores, um, put out some signage. You can see we're, we moved the dumpster, replaced it with like a, just a little, you know, just a professional sign that has some rules, right, sense of community, um, things like that. Not, not much at all. It was so much easier. You know, we've got a pretty good website and put things like that together. Okay, so these are numbers. Um, yeah, so we bought the park for uh, $100,000. Uh, put about $70,000. Oh, we've put more into that to date. As of right now, geez, I think we're up at two, like 235 of total money that we've spent. And we've, that's buying homes, moving homes in, um, all the development costs, all that kind of stuff. We're in it for about $230,000. And so you can see the, the cash flow from notes, our owner finance notes, was 1350 With these other homes moved, will be about $2,300. Um, so you, yeah, so you can see $6,500 a month currently, a very low vacancy rate, okay? So we just came through like all this time of COVID and forbearance issues, people not paying their rent. Here's the, diff here's the thing that's different with mobile home parks, okay? When you have a renter, they don't own that home. And we know who the government's siding with these days and those types of issues. When it's a, mo like this is my, pretend this is my mobile home park, okay? This is a mobile home. It's right here, okay? This is the mobile home. This person doesn't pay their lot rent. Do I evict them out of their home? No, it's the grand, the, the ground. They have to leave out of my park. Well, do you know how expensive it is to move a home? It's typically, it's thousands of dollars that people do it the right way, right? And it, it, it's a big process. That's why 80% or something of homes, once they're set, they never move. These are some of our numbers. I'm going to wrap up. Bought it at a... Pretty much around 11, uh, 11 cap day one right now. If you look at where we're at 270 right now, so I misspoke. This is our, our current debt on the investment on the property, including new homes, all that kind of stuff we've put in. 270,000 um, is our debt service. That puts us at a 28 cap rate. We're looking to hit a 30 percent when we're full, uh, bringing in five deals a month. And our, our end game, and this is my mindset going in, is I want to double our investment or get close to it. So we're in this for two, uh, 270. If we sold a 10 cap, it's very easy to do, it'd be 825. With all public utilities, I feel pretty confident in that. So last slide. So guys, here's the thing too. Um, this is my feel good thing. It's like mobile home parks, you guys can make a lot of money, create wealth, income, passive income, if you do it the right way should do it the right way. Uh, but really, like, to me, it's, it's, it's felt really good because you are, like, we're going to these communities. Man, the people there are absolutely love us. Like, they're putting on picnics and these just, you know, barbecues and all this kind of stuff. Um, and it's just, like, it's been a very fulfilling thing for me as well and, and very, you know, profitable as well. Mm -hmm.